Welcome. Today's video takes me a little bit out of the wheelhouse of wood turning and more into woodworking and blade smithing. Now I'm not talking about forging with metal because I'm not a blacksmith, but I am going to attempt to make a knife using wood and some metal and epoxy. And if everything goes right, I'm going to have an awesome piece to share with you. So join me for this fun ride. Thanks for watching. So I was foraging through my wood pile and came across this beauty. I mean, it's, it's nothing special, but it's a little piece of cedar about a quarter inch thick by one and a half inches wide. But what struck me was how beautiful this grain was. And it's just like um, very tight and very flowing. And it just sang to me. So if you're like me, and I'm sure most of you are, one particular show on TV offers a wonderful platform of learning how to make blades, and it's called Forged in Fire. I never get tired of watching these ordinary and extraordinary folks making something beautiful and useful out of a chunk of metal. The technique used to create the Damascus pattern um, is it, just visually stunning and amazing, and I immediately saw in this piece of wood, uh, something similar to Damascus and thought to myself, you know what, this would make a really cool blade. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna shape this out and see what we come up with and then I will move on to the next uh, technique. So here's my sanded knife. Pretty sharp on the end. It's wood, you know, it's not gonna cut anything. It's more aesthetic than anything. I think it's just kind of cool. So it did keep a lot of the pretty grain lines. So what I'm gonna do now is I've taken some craft wire and I made a coil around a dowel. Actually, I made two coils. So what I'm gonna do with these, these are gonna be my handle. I'm gonna sandwich these together so that they become one coil, but each coil will be going into itself. It's hard to explain, but I'm going to attempt to put this tang inside these two coils that are kind of grouped together. And I'll do that right now. It's gonna be kind of hard, but I can do it. See how it goes together? So you can see what I mean by sandwiching these two, these together and it becomes one coil. And I'm going to attempt to put this inside. It will have to be adjusted as I go, but I'm certain it will fit. 
All right, so this double coil is not cooperating the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to take a break, have some coffee, and hope that I can come up with an idea to keep this straight. Um, I really don't want to glue it yet because um, if I have to take it off, then it's going to create a problem. But I'll figure it out, and I'll be right back. Okay, after frustration, um, I've decided I'm not going to try and make this work. It just doesn't, doesn't fit the handle right. What I'm going to do is I'd like to still wrap the tang with the metal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this up, give it a little bit of shape on on the flat edges and then add a little bit of extra piece down here and flare it out. So that way my form is already to the shape that I want it and then I'm going to wrap uh, the wire around that completely and it'll be snug and it'll fit in place and I think it'll look a lot better. So uh, I'm going to cut some wood and glue it up and then um, go from there. Since the tang isn't visible with the wire wrapping, I chose yes, just to use some scrap wood. Fortunately, I had a paint stick, which was pretty much the thickness of what I wanted, and I just decided to use it up. So I got most of the shaping done on the belt sander and oscillating spindle sander. It's a good shape for a handle. And I'm going to finish sanding by hand because I really want to get the shape just right. So I'll be working on it for a little bit. So before I attempt to wrap this handle, I'm going to seal this wood with some sanding sealer and let it dry just because uh, I'm going to be using glue and I don't want it to distort the color of the wood. Okay, we'll let that dry. I need to start with some fresh wire. So Okay. 
Okay, we're going to start over. <clears throat> if this doesn't work with a new wire that doesn't crimp, I'm going to end up using this fabric wire, which I really didn't want to do, but um, I wanted some kind of metal handle. So we'll try it with the wire first. If it doesn't work, we'll use the cord and see how it comes out. Oh, and I ended up putting a stop at the end only because I'm going to start it from the bottom and if I don't have something there it's just going to slip off and so this is um, a way to keep it intact and then after hopefully after I get it all wrapped I'll go ahead and shape this one down to match the handle uh, configuration. So I've gotten to the point where I'm at the top. It's a little weird wrapping because it just wants to go up over this ridge here. So I made a little guard and I know I'm doing everything backwards. So, um, you know, it's, it's just a fun project. So I'm going to put the guard on and fill it in with a little tiny piece right here, glue it up sand it down and then finish wrapping and then I can tuck the wire underneath here and we'll see how it comes out. not good. Look what I did. I sanded right through the wire. It's got copper underneath. Okay, this project keeps getting better and better. I'll see what I'm going to do about that. I think since I had this little uh, mistake of sanding copper wire and exposing the copper underneath, I'm going to do it in several places so it'll have a two-tone effect and that way it'll just be a little bit more artistic. So now I'm using a two-part epoxy. Uh, not only for the finishing, but to strengthen the wood on the edge of the blade to make it a little bit stronger, just in case I wanted to try and cut something. So I finished my project and I'm not 100% happy, however, um, from my first attempt, I think it came out pretty good. The epoxy uh, didn't come out as smooth as I would have liked it to, so there was a lot of sanding and cussing and um, just steps that I had to take to get it to a point where I think it looks pretty decent. Um, it's pretty straight and it has a sharp edge but you know I don't think it's gonna cut much and there was a couple little bubbles from the epoxy in the handle but yeah I think it's okay so thanks for watching I appreciate it and stay tuned for my next video um, it's gonna be a fun one and I hope you have a great day and don't forget to subscribe and like and share 
and your support is greatly appreciated as always and um hope you can join me again take care